Okay, this is the theorem of Pappus and Gildanus. So, surface area. So, say you had a shape. centroid which is located our bar away from the axes so what this theorem allows you to do which is really pretty cool it allows you to take this line and determine the surface area by rotating it around the axes so to do that you can find your surface area by theta times r bar times l where A is equal to the surface area of the revolution theta is the angle of revolution and it must be measured in radians And since one um, revolution is two theta, theta must be less than or equal to, I'm sorry, one revolution, one revolution is two pi, so theta must be less than or equal to two pi. Where r bar is equal to the perpendicular distance from the axis of revolution to the centroid of the generating curve. And L is equal to the length of that generating curve. And so if we wanted to find the volume of the same shape, you can use this a similar concept. So if you were to take this area having a centroid of C and this distance being R bar this entire shaded, plate, um, shaded section being the area you could take that area rotate it around the axis and find the volume so the volume is equal to theta same thing angle of revolution measured in radians times R bar same thing the perpendicular distance from the axis of revolution to the centroid and this time instead of the generating curve it's the generating area times your area. So V is equal to the volume of the re revolution and A is equal to the generating area. And if you had a composite of many things that are going to be um, revolved around an axis, you can simply use A is equal to theta times the sum of R tilde L and V is equal to theta times the sum of R oh, excuse me A is equal to theta times the sum of R tilde L V is equal to theta times the sum of R tilde A And that's it.